my name is Pippa and this is Pippa Jones Beauty. It's the place where I love to get together with you and discuss all things beauty, including skincare, makeup, fragrance, and a little bit of this and that. And today, I am super excited to continue on talking about Shantakai's fall collection with their Cougar Eye Quartet, which I just got, and two new lip shades, Prairie Smoke and Yarrow. So if you're interested in seeing a video with the new fall 22 Shantakai products, keep on watching and portion of this video. I am super excited for Shantakai's fall launch. I like a nice small attainable collection. I like when um, there's these small curated collections that I feel like all beautiful, all luxurious, all chic, all totally doable for me for fall, and I can get it. I don't have 20 lipsticks to choose from. That's a little hard for me. I'm going in first with the new Shantakai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. Again, this was just released a few weeks ago, along with the fall collection that just released now. I believe that's all that's coming for fall until holiday, but if you didn't see my video on this, I did do it as an all over, just a, a glowy hydrating look. It is billed as skincare and makeup. One of the ways they said you can use it though is as a primer. So I am going to use it right now as a primer underneath my, oh gosh, we're not focusing whatsoever. That's what it is like. It's there's no tint. It is very sheer, but it definitely adds um, a glowy, hydrated look. My camera's struggling. I'm back in my office for the first time in a while, and it is definitely, definitely different, but it's good to be back. I have to organize this place. It is a little bit of a zoo in here. Okay, so here we go. So we can see you have this luminosity that's gonna come through from underneath your um, foundation. It is definitely, you know, skin blurring like a good primer is. Kinda helps with those pores without clogging them. Wonderful botanicals and skincare ingredients. So that is the new Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint and it feels delightful. I am a huge fan of the bronze one, especially in the summer. I did wear it a lot, especially down in Florida. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Chantecai Future Skin in Vanilla. That shade works well for me, getting well used. I do try to go in with a little stick to help out the cause. And I'm gonna just dot this stuff. A little bit here, a little bit there. It is absolutely delightful. It is that gel formulation, feels light. Definitely helps even out the skin tone, is blurring. It's a absolutely lovely, lovely foundation. I'm gonna go in with my Ruffer 31 and just kinda blend all over. I'm liking the new skin tints a lot. I really, really am. The rosy one just and the bronze one. I really, really enjoy them. And I do feel it adds a little bit of a touch of luminosity without being extra glowy and extra like out of control looking like you just got done working out. There you go. So we have a nice base. I feel like my skin tone is evened out. I do have again some uh, dark circles under my eyes. Well, they're not too dark, but so I'm going to go in with the Real Skin Plus and three. Just, just a lighter shade. And I'm gonna use my fingers to kinda help out those little 
dark circles. I did not sleep so great last night and I want to do a video because I want to talk about how I improved my sleep. My sleep has improved so much and it's a combination of things that I stumbled upon. Part of it is a supplement with uh, magnesium and sodium and part of it is a device which some of you might hear about. I heard about this chill pill. It's a device, a handheld device that helps. I, I just gotta, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and that with, with that one day, but I have been sleeping so much better. I am so very thankful for that, really. So that did a pretty nice job, um, kind of helping conceal underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna go in with my Shantikai blurring powder lifetime favorite and Sonia G and I'm just gonna kind of press this and then swipe this area here to a little blurring this is a lovely foundation all these products you know feel real confident um, in the chemistry behind them uh, that they're vegan, that they're not doing animal testing, and that a lot of it is natural ingredients. Okay, so I think we're ready for some new eyes. How exciting. For the Cougar Eye Quartet, we're gonna unbox this. Quartet for shades, cougars are North America's most elusive big cats. Their habitats are shrinking. We are proud to support Yellowstone forever in their efforts to protect these majestic creatures in the wild. Absolutely stunning photograph, lovely. 0 0.07 ounces times four for the pans, 0.5 grams, and just got this in the mail a few minutes ago. Let's take a look. We have these four shades and shade one. Oop, here's your packaging. Ooh, so luxe and beautiful, so fun. So we're gonna talk about shade one, two, three, four. So shade one, is a creamy vanilla is how they're describing it on the site and here it is and here's my swatch creamy vanilla shade two going across is a dusty rose champagne and this one looks to be a satin There I go. I'm gonna run into yesterday's a little bit. I don't know why I'm having such struggles with the focus here. Shade three is a burnished copper. Burnished copper. That one does look it has a little bit more chunkiness for a little bit more glitter going underneath that. Very pretty. And the last one is a matte gray. Kind of a pretty shade. Where'd I go with that one? And I am just going to do a beautiful, everyday, elegant look with this one. I had a lot of fun yesterday because my look with the Black Jaguar Eye, eye Quartet, I was just loving it so much. I was just, I just felt like boom. I felt with those jewel tones, I was kind of like on the fall trend of jewel tones in fashion. So I'm going to take that lighter shade kind of all over and I don't have any primer on and I have my Shantikai skin care underneath kind of all over even things out pretty much my skin tone with this creamy vanilla shade 
I'm just gonna kind of use it as a powdery base. Then I'm gonna take my matte gray with Sonia G's Worker Pro, and I'm gonna go in with my matte gray shade. I'm gonna clean that one off a little bit more. Come on, old boy. And I'm going to do my lower lash line and then I'm gonna kind of angle it out like a diagonal like this. And then I'm gonna take it up high here, just above my crease. I'm gonna work that. I'm gonna take a clean brush, soft, oh, just gonna work this a little bit more. Blend it nicely. So I have a little open spot in the middle for my lovely pink color. So same thing, lash line, upper lash line, kind of diagonal, and then into and above the crease. Blend it out. A little bit more, where'd I go with that one? And I think I'm gonna take that that same shade and I'm gonna go below my lash line. I need to like organize my brushes. They're all kind of just splayed. A lot of them are just splayed across there. So same gray. And this is a Pencil Pro. I'll go underneath. Kind of bring the upper and lower lid together. Kind of re do that lower lash a little bit because we blend it out. Just tap a little bit more in the corner. Very nice matte. Easy to work with, not patchy. Very lovely. No issues there. Shantakai quality. Gotta love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in for this middle part with the light pink shade. Definitely everyday type look. What do I got here to work with? Hmm. Should I try this one? I didn't even open it up yet. This is that new Sonia G, that little mini. Ooh. Oh boy. Little mini one, horrible me, but I didn't even open it yet. I'm gonna take that nice fluffiness. Whew, feels good. Inner corner. That's that pinky satin shade. Yeah, this is for you everyday gals that just love a classic chic look like that. Just enhancing your natural beauty, working with what you have, with what you have. Definitely that French aesthetic. Very nice. Very lovely. So I did not try that brownie shade. Let me see. Maybe I can do like a little bit in the corner. I'll lean this brush off. Shader, soft shader from Sonia G. This one's the one with a little bit more glitter, a little bit more chunky. I'm just gonna keep it focused. Kind of, ooh, yeah, I'm glad I did that. Kind of the outer part. Adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more gradual, like ombre, like this. So a lovely everyday palette. And we have, a foundation mess there. We have two shades to go with this collection with the Cougar. I already did a video of unboxing these. So we have Prairie Smoke and we have Yarrow. The Yarrow is more the peachy one. This one is more the rosy one. And here is 
yarrow again. And here is prairie smoke. Both very lovely nudes. I think it'll work well with everyday looks. And here is yarrow. Ooh, I love lip cheeks. They feel so good. Yesterday when I had on that jewel toned one, mm, orchid, oh my gosh, it lasted like so long. It was so lovely, so long. I went grocery shopping, I made dinner. I'm like, oh, my lipstick's still going. So this one's yarrow. <laughs> lovely everyday shade. So good, the hyaluronic acid plumping. I'm gonna light this one off. I do have Chantecai lip liner, but I'm not gonna mess with that now because these lip cheeks are so easy to work with. And this one again, purry smoke. More of a rosy, little bit of browns in there to go with the eye palette. Lovely. Okay, let's just finish with a little bit of, I found my Chantecai I could tell what did I do with it now? A little bit of eyeliner. I do my waterline here with it. Very easy to work with. Victoria Beckham and this one are absolutely my favorites. into that lash line, waterline area. Definitely think you can go nighttime with that too if you just add a little bit more dimension, a little bit more focus. Smoke it out a little bit. You know, it's definitely not just every day. Every day during the day. And of course my faux sale. Longest lash. Oh, that was my one. It's my one that kind of broke there. Sorry. Absolutely lovely mascara. One of my favorites, although I have found a couple new ones lately besides Jones Road and this one that I was kind of like, ooh, hmm, kind of impressing me. Okay, and we need a little bit of blush. And this is very, very neutral looking gonna do now stick with the philanthropy and I think I think I'm gonna go hmm. I think I'm gonna go with elephant Sonia G and I don't remember their real names in the philanthropy set call them by their animal oof pretty Bring that up for a little draping. I like to do a little bit on the nose too. Oh, so pretty, so lovely. <laughs> Yay. Oh, lovely. George the hair a tiny little bit. Ah, voila, full Chantecai. Oh, so elegant, so chic, so lovable. I hope you enjoyed today's video, introducing you and giving us a first look at the Cougar Quartet and the new lip shades that go along with it. I appreciate your time spending it here with me. I know it's very valuable and you have a lot to peruse through on YouTube, but you chose to spend it here with me. So thank you wholeheartedly for that. Please support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. Also, if you would subscribe down below, I would really appreciate that. And of course, I do want to hear, are you getting this one? Is it too plain Jane for you? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know. Until next time. Thank you.